Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how you can try out Windows 7 without installing it to your hard disk or anything. To do this, we'll need two things. First, you need to go to virtualbox.org. Click the download link. Then download whichever version is right for you. Next, we need to go to Google. Search for Windows 7. Click the second link that appears. You can see this, then you just scroll down and download the 32-bit version or the 64-bit version. The most obvious way to tell if you have a 32-bit or 64-bit operating system, if you have under 4 gigabytes of RAM, you most likely have a 32-bit. If you have 4 or more, you most likely have a 64-bit. So download that. So now I have both the files. This is the Windows, this is actually Windows 7, and this is VirtualBox. Next, we need to install VirtualBox. Double click that, click Run. Click Next. I accept. Next. You can do whatever you want on these options, I don't want them. Next. Then click Install. I'm going to pause this while it installs, but I'll come back as soon as it finishes. When you finish installing VirtualBox, when it gets to near the end of the installation, it should ask you to install two drivers. You can just install those, well, you need to install those. Then when you run it for the first time, you should get a window that looks like this. You won't have these right here, but that's just because I've already installed them, so you can just ignore these. What you want to do is go up here and click New. Click Next call this whatever you want I'm gonna call it Windows 7 because that's what it is beta and leave the OS type as unknown you need to give it one gigabyte of RAM or 1024 megabytes and you can click next yeah, you need to click new here click next click dynamically expanding image and give it 20 gigs or close to that if you are tight on space then you click finish then click next again then you can click finish now you should have something it should um, pop up right here see I have this you can click start and it gives you this window click next as media type click CD-ROM slash DVD and under media source click image file click this right here click add then go to wherever you have that ISO image I already have it in here so it'll give me an error but it should pop up something like this click select then you click next then you click finish now it'll start up the virtual machine. Installation is pretty easy with Windows 7. I don't think there's really anything that I need to explain. Thanks for watching this video tutorial. If you liked it, please comment, rate, subscribe.